In Father, Lord God, I thank you for the day of today. As God, right now, I am going to share your word to your people, to your children outside there. Father, I pray that use me as your vessel. I pray that God, let me not speak the words coming outside from me, but the word which is coming from you. Lord, I pray that let your Holy Spirit guide us. And God, I ask all these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you're outside there, say amen. Today, I have just come to encourage somebody and to share the word of the Lord. So much is the youth outside there. The, the life of the youth in these days is not giving glory to God at all. We are using our social medias to, to preach women's or other things. Instead of posting a verse even in a day, you cannot even do that, my brothers and sisters. I want us to read in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter, uh, chapter 12 verse 1. The Bible tells us that remember also you are greater in the days of your youth. Before the evil days and the year draw near of which you will say, I have no pleasure. My brothers and sisters, I want to tell you one thing. The Bible, the Bible is telling us that we should remember also our, our, our creator in the days of our youth. Many people say that I will give my life to Jesus when I reach 50 years. Let me first enjoy life. Let me first take alcohol. Let me first go and sleep with 50 women or do other things. My brothers and sisters, I want to tell you. This day you see that young guys, young women are dying at an early age because of the evilism. Because Lucifer is the one ruling their life. I want to encourage you. You cannot say that I will give my life to Jesus when I'm like 50 or I'm like 40. That's not the right thing. The Bible is telling us that we should serve the Lord when we are still young. And this is not my word. This is the word of the Lord. Go open the Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. That's what the Bible says. So me, I am just here sharing the gospel to you, encouraging you to give your life to Jesus. So that you can serve the Lord at your early youth. When I look outside, I feel sorry for some of the youths outside there because of what they are doing. If you go in the social medias these, day, these days, you will find that many youths are always on YouTube. What are they watching? Whatever they are watching is what we, something which is taking them to sin. Praise the Lord. We have to use the social medias to preach the word of the Lord. Because it is not like as long time those of Jesus, how they used to do, move from one place to another. But there is a way that God has helped us. We have to take the advantage to share the gospel of the Lord to the people. And I love all of you so much. That's why I am sharing the word of the Lord to you. I am not jealous with the gospel. My happiness is to see that when Jesus comes, oh, when you die, you will go to heaven. I will not say that you will stay in this earth forever and ever. You will either die or you will wait for the second coming of Jesus Christ. So I am here to encourage you to give your life to Jesus. Why is it, why is it that every time Savior is saying that give your life to Jesus, give your life to Jesus? Because I know the secret about it. And I want also you to enjoy this fruit of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Life without Jesus is nothing. When you have not given your life to Jesus, you are just like a walking dead. As I told you all this every time, you are a walking dead. My brothers and sisters, I will repeat the verses which I always say once again. For God so loved you and me, he gave his only begotten son. So that when you die, you will not, you, when, when your body dies, your spirit will not die. But you will see the kingdom of God. It is time you need to give your life to Jesus so that you can serve the Lord. Sana sana, I'm talking to the young, 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 young generation like me so that you will, you will serve the Lord when you are still a youth. I used to follow my parents to the church. I used to just go to the, to, to the church because my parents are pastors. But when I came and I knew the truth, my brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, I came and I gave my life to Jesus. Some of you are just going to church because your parents or your friend tells you that we should go to church. 
it is time you need to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. When you do that, you'll just feel an extraordinary power coming inside you. And you will feel whatever I'm feeling. When I explain it to you, I cannot explain unless when you give your life to Jesus is where you will feel the presence of the Lord. And don't forget, my brothers and sisters who are born again, who have given, if you have given your life to Jesus, I want to tell you one thing. Don't be jealous of the gospel. You are moving with the young people. All your friends are not born again. But you cannot even tell them that, brother, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Give your life to Jesus so that you will enjoy the food which I'm enjoying. Or you will not die. We are not threatening you. The word of the Lord is a sword. Is a sword. It's just like a, it, it, this is ondo. This is this just a ondo. This is a stick. But the word of God is a sword. It prunes you. It cuts some of the parts in you. If you are going in a wrong way, it will cut those branches of Lucifer and make you to grow straight. There's a sister on Facebook. Uh, we used to go to church together. I'm sorry to say this, sister. But she was smoking a shisha. And this is, this is somebody who was going to church. She said that she's a Christian. When you ask that, are you, uh, uh, my sister, are you are born again? Yes, sir, I'm a Christian. Christian just at the mouth. But the, the, the Bible said that we should not spoil the house of the Lord with smoke. What do I mean? Smoking weed, smoking a cigarette, and all that. My brothers and sisters, it is about time we should stand at the truth. The Bible tells us that when the second coming of Jesus is near, a lot of things will start happening. What has been happening in Sodom and Gomorrah will start happening. Are we not having lesbians? Oh, homosexuals these days, they are there. So this is a sign to so to us that the second coming of Jesus is very soon. This is sicknesses. The Bible talks about sicknesses like corona, virus, like other things. These big, big diseases. And it is happening. The Bible talks about the locusts. In some of the countries, locusts came and destroyed things. Eh? My brothers and sisters, it is about time we need to turn to the Lord and share the real gospel of Jesus Christ. Not every time priest preaching about you will prosper, you will prosper, you will prosper. You will not prosper. No one is going to prosper. Prosper, you know, prosperity is something which is added. The Bible tells us that first seek the kingdom of the Lord and other things will be added unto you. Why are you preaching about pro uh, prosperity and you, the people are doing evil things? The people are not going on the right way. My brothers and sisters, we need to turn to the Lord. We should turn our back to the devil. If you are youth outside there, I want to challenge you. In a day, do you even upload or even say the word Jesus before the sun said you don't? You don't even say a simple prayer. And you call yourself a Christian. Look at the Muslims. They are not worshipping God. They are worshipping idols. But they worship in the morning, in the whatever. They do it on the water. And we who are worshipping the relief of God. You people, what's wrong with we, the Christians? We need to turn our back to Lucifer and do the right thing. God bless you. Maybe you're outside there. You would like to give your life to Jesus, my brother. All my sisters. I will pray for you for free. You don't pay. If any pastor or anyone says that you have to pay for you to give your life to Jesus, you call me. And I will take that person to prison. That person has to be arrested. Salvation is free. Let us pray. I want to pray for you. Just believe in your heart. And uh, confess with your mouth whatever I am going to say. So that you will be born again. You are going to get the password of going to heaven. You are going to get the, the passport of going to heaven. Your name is going to be written in the book of life. Let me pray for you. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I ask you to forgive my sin. I ask you to rub my name in the book of hell. I ask you to write my name in the book of life. I am a born again. In Jesus' name, amen.
if you have repeated that prayers after me, I want to tell you, my brother or my sister, you are now in a new creation. Just pray to God to show you the right church to go so that you will start eating the food of spirit. You will start feeding. You are now like a newborn baby. That's why we say that you have to be born again. You are now a born again. If you have to repeat that prayers after me, you are a born again. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for my brother outside there, for my sister outside there who has confessed Jesus right now in their life. Father, you say that when one soul give his or her life to you, the angels in heaven are rejoicing. And Jesus, when you are going to heaven, you say that we should go all over the world and preach your word. And God, right here, this person has given his or her life to you. So God, continue encouraging. Send your Holy Spirit so that it will guide them to do the right thing to encourage even others to give their life to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I believe. Come on, say amen. Amen. Share this video. Let it reach to those who have not given their life to Jesus so that the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. I thank uh, all of you for watching. Jesus is the answer for every, every, everything. God bless you.